Good evening once again. We are hearing the stories this week of healthcare workers on the front line during this pandemic, working 16 hour shifts at hospitals and clinics here in Western New York and all over the country. Their loved ones rightly concerned. But what about those people who serve the justice system? Tonight, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Taylor Epps talks with people who work in the prison system or they know someone behind bars and they're worried about COVID-19. We don't have the luxury of sitting at home and sheltering in. Um, we have to go to work. For corrections officers across the state, it's business as usual during the COVID-19 crisis. And their safety is a major concern. They're not just New York State employees. They deserve to be protected as well as a nurse or a doctor or anyone else. They have families and they need to be protected. The inmates need to be protected. That's the voice of a concerned family member of a local corrections officer. She asked to remain anonymous, fearing her loved one could lose their job. She says corrections officers at the Orleans Correctional Facility are not given any protective masks. The reason they were told that they weren't given masks is because there weren't enough for the medical staff in New York State. They then inquired if they could bring their own masks in and they were told straight out no. Email after email. Seven Eyewitness News has read concerns about the safety inside correctional facilities, including Wendy Correctional Facility, where at least two inmates have tested positive for COVID-19. Family members want the state to provide protective equipment before it's too late. I think that they're just asking for a huge outbreak among these COs and the inmates. The union representing these 30,000 workers is calling on the state as well. We are pleading with the governor to give us the proper equipment to protect ourselves and also to protect our families. In a statement sent to 7 Eyewitness News, the State Department of Corrections and Community Supervision says it provides protective equipment when medically necessary. The CDC advises masks only be worn by people working directly with the infected. The state has also stopped inmate transfers unless they're for medical reasons. The union is still looking for more. Yeah, our, our next step is that we're going to we're going to try and buy the mask or the PPEs ourselves and get permission from the department to issue them to our members. Taylor Epps, 7 Eyewitness News.